This episode is brought to you by Shopify. That's the sound of switching your business to Shopify, the global commerce platform that supercharges your selling. Harness the best converting checkout and same intuitive features, trusted apps, and powerful analytics used by the world's leading brands. Stop leaving sales on the table. Discover why millions trust Shopify to build, grow, and run their business. Sign up today for your $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash tech23. All right, what's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of the T-Moss Boss Show. In today's episode, so it seems like it confuses a lot of people when I tell them that um, I've been hated on before on YouTube, uh, especially a lot of like my you know friends that I'll make through like Twitch streaming or fans that uh come from you know like well yeah overall like fans that's uh uh, more so from like youtube videos because it's a it's a lot easier making fans on youtube than it is on twitch like it's crazy because you can make friends very easily on twitch but uh with fans though there's like so many people i feel like streaming at the same time so unless you're playing a game that's gonna you know be very uh active but at the same time, like, not so active. Like, there's games that I've played. Like, there's this drifting game called, excuse me, Car X. And um, I've gotten, uh, like, some followers from there. Then there's this other game called Generation Zero. Gotten some followers from there. And, um, but it's, yeah, with YouTube, YouTube is where it's at. Like, you know, you can keep that stuff up. It, it's not like with streaming. Like, you stream, what, two, two, three hours in a day and stuff, and then you're good. But uh, with videos, like, that stuff is up forever. So I feel like it's just a lot more easier, you know, making fans on there than, you know, just wait till somebody's streaming and then just be cool with them and stuff. But I wish I could have that, uh, you know, lifestyle where people would just, you know, watch my videos or join my streams and would want to be cool with me. But no, there's just people out there that I, I guess they just don't like the positive personality that I try to put off in things. And, you know, they just, they yeah, they overall have an issue with that. I don't, but here's the thing, though. I don't think it's, you know, oh, well, I know it's not overall the positive attitude, but that was just one of the many things that they tried to put in my brain that being a positive person isn't good, pretty much. And so they wanted me to, you know, haters wanted me to be like them. They wanted me to align with them. And that's the thing where I'm like, I started thinking of it. I'm like, yeah, they, they must have not um, heard the, the Tupac and Suge Knight story. Because uh, I think anybody like that, you know, has, you know, that's very like, I guess that pays attention a lot to the entertainment um, business. You'll see a lot of different stories that you can overall relate to. So to overall tell that story for those that don't know that story, and I'm pretty sure a lot of people know that um, story, but if you don't, so the Tupac and Suge Knight story. So I'm pretty sure everybody knows who they are, like especially Tupac. If you don't know who Tupac is, like nah, get out from underneath the rock that you're living under and just, yeah, pay attention a little bit more in the entertainment business because I'm saying like you do not know who he is, like I will question you. So anyways, um, Tupac uh, was a musician. Suge Knight was like a like, not a producer, but he was like a, I, I don't really want to call him a music mogul, because he, you know, he was just like a, a bully in the music industry, pretty much. Like, if, we, if we're going to say, like, uh, you know, something to describe that man the best way possible, yeah, bro was a um, bully in the music industry. But he had, like, his ways of trying to, you know, not even trying, like, he had his ways of manipulating people and getting them to align with him. And, you know, being with Team, like, and his record label was uh, Death Row Records. So, yeah, he had his way of manipulating people to be with Death Row Records. Came off as, like, a person who was just like, oh, yeah, this is a business. We're going to be making money, blah, blah, blah. Soon as they signed the Death Row, then that's when they see his true colors. So, here's the thing, to compare the similarities with it i overall saw because i pay attention a lot to the entertainment business you know the money stuff the fame all of that it seems nice at times you know it's always going to be nice like if that's what you're aiming for yeah of course it's going to be nice when you want to just like entertain the world but the way that this one guy wanted me to go about it i'm like 
I can't do that. That's not, you know, you know, that's not who I am. I'm not this person that just goes out of my way and attacks people because of content. No, that's not me. I don't go out of my way and attack people for content reasons. I attack people if I feel like there's a legitimate reason to go after them. Like if they went after a friend of mine's or if they did something to a friend of mine's or whatever, if they did something overall to me or my fans, like, yeah, I'm there for the people that I care about 100%. But if it's like some random stuff that's going on in the world, I may give my uh, thoughts on it. I might give like, you know, talk on it briefly, but I ain't going to sit here and put no well thought out two hour, however long video and stuff about them. Like, what what do I look like? Nah, I'm saying like, you know, I here's the thing. And so here's a channel. So overall to talk on one of the channels I have. And I know a lot of people will probably bring up that channel. That is a news channel. I am reporting on the news. I am not signing with anybody. I'm not, you know, aligning myself with anybody. If somebody's in the wrong for something for something, and if somebody's in the right for something, I will talk on it. But for the most part, I'm like, I'm all about peace and love. Like, I don't care about all that extra stuff. I don't care about all that beefing and things. I'm like, you know, and that's the thing where like, if I do talk on somebody and I can tell that they're sorry, I can tell that I'm like, they're forgiven. I'm like, I'm not going to have beef or problems with them. And I'm like, I don't even know the person like that, regardless of whether they did something to me, did something to somebody I know, or they just overall did something that went viral. So I'm saying, like, that's, you know, to even like place an example, let's say the one YouTuber, um, Minnesota Boy, right? Um, And I'm pretty sure a lot of people know who he is if you've um, been a longtime subscriber to my channel. But if not, Minnesota Boy was a YouTuber that uh, made this, like, racist um, rant video about white people. Came out of nowhere. But anyways, um, yeah, did that. Now, if he were to come out in the video and apologize and he wanted to be cool with me and all of that, I will 100% be cool with that man. And I will do everything in my power to try to clear his name and let people know, like, hey, because overall he was a talented YouTuber. And I see that potential in him. But yeah, when he started doing these racist rants, I'm like, and then he's coming after me because I don't want to be racist. I'm like, you know, it's stuff like that. Like, yeah, there, that's the one thing about the internet that there's a lot of bullies out there that would try to like get you to align with them. And I'm like, I'm not with that. My thing is like, no, I came here to do my thing and my thing only. That's always been the mission and the goal since day one. Do my thing and be good at it. All right. So and I am. So my thing is like and I've completed my goal. I have done my thing and I am good at it. So I'm saying it's got me to 20,000 subscribers, you know, millions of views across all my videos. I'm saying like I, I don't feel like that. I've done anything bad here. So I'm, I'm saying like if I was doing something bad, I wouldn't have no subscribers. Right. So I'm saying like that's that's how I see. I wouldn't have no fans. I wouldn't have no subscribers. I wouldn't have no supporters. Nothing. Yet I have supporters literally on almost every platform that I am active on. So. But anyways, um, so what was I overall talking about? But now, yeah, like if I, you know, was uh, like, you know, if Minnesota boy wanted to be cool with me, so on. But if not, I'm like, yeah, it's like, you know, that bridge is never going to, you know, we won't never cross it and stuff. So anyways, getting back on this uh, um, Tupac and Suge Knight stuff. So Tupac um, was overall, uh, you know, like he was in jail. Uh, He needed help. Um, uh, Suge Knight did go to him and was just like, hey, because I know they did talk on on the movie um, briefly, but he was like, I'll give you this money, make sure your mom is safe, you know, make sure that you know that you're making music, all this other stuff, having fun, blah, 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 gave him like the good, you know, like life story and stuff. And that is no different than the night when I remember when me and the um, one guy, uh, just a robot, when we got into it and he was trying to like, you know, oh, you know, uh, let me give you this advice and let me help you out with your channel and stuff and all this other things. And I'm like, now I could have went about it where I'm like, you know what? I, you know, I'm desperate and I want the best for my channel. My thing is, is that I'm not desperate. You know, I know I can do the best for my channel. It's going to take time. And I don't mind um, taking time with my channel. I don't mind because I'm like, that's what a entertainer, that is what a content creator, that's overall that somebody that wants to put in work on something, that's what they're going to do. They're going to test out every option that is available before they get desperate. And my thing is this, I have billions okay billions of options i know i do if it's not billions i know i definitely have so many options out there that i'm not in a stage where i am desperate no when have i ever came off as desperate when have i ever came off as somebody was like oh i need your help i need and he's trying to like offer me this help and i'm like but here's the thing so do you think 
uh, like, let's say, um, like, talking on Tupac and Suge Knight, do you think if, uh, um, Suge Knight was overall telling Tupac, because that's, that, and I'll get to why I'm saying this, but if, uh, Suge Knight was being disrespectful to Tupac, do you think Tupac would have signed to his record label? No. No, my thing is this. No person with their right mind that hears somebody disrespecting their work disrespecting their content nobody in their right mind all right that's disrespecting their entertainment is not going to want to be cool with somebody like you see any things today with um like within the rap community where if somebody disrespects another artist they're not going to be oh well you know what that person's trying to be my friend they're trying to be cool with me they're trying to give me advice they're trying to help me out no if you my thing is this if you go to a person right and you know, like with whatever that they're doing and you go to them and you're being disrespectful, like, or if somebody does that to you, would you want to be cool with them? No, you wouldn't. I'm saying like, even if the the roles was reversed and I was to go to this, uh, you know, this guy just a robot and was to go and be all disrespectful on his channel and stuff. No, he would not try to be cool with me. He wouldn't take nothing from me. No advice, help, whatever it is that he was trying to offer that night. But no, he wouldn't. I know that he wouldn't. So But I know for a fact that Tupac, as strong-minded and outspoken as that man was, he would have not, okay? So he made it, came, like, come off as, like, all good, should not. He made it come off as all good that, you know, things is going to be cool with them. And it didn't, you know? One thing led to another. Uh, Then Tupac is fighting one of these guys' battles at death row, which led to uh, Tupac's um, death. Now, I'm not saying that, you know... That's how my life would have went if I would have been cool with just a robot, but I would have not seen highly of my uh, channel. And that's, I know that was one of the things that they did promote um, in the movie. And it was just, you know, that's what everybody around Tupac that was saying was that he was trying to leave Death Row Records. And I know for a fact that if I would have been aligned with, you know, just a robot, that would have been like one of the like, first things I've been trying to do is like trying to break that contact from him. And my thing is this, I felt like, you know, with the videos that was being made on me, I would rather have those videos up about me where people are saying, oh, T-Moss Boss ignored suicidal people. Or t Moss Boss made fun of this guy's mom. Or t Moss Boss did this. Or t Moss Boss did that. Rather than t Moss Boss and Just a Robot attacked this random YouTuber. t Moss Boss and Just a Robot did this. t Moss Boss and Just a Robot. Then when I would have tried to like break out of that, you know, cycle and been like, you know, no, I'm don't want to be aligned with them no more. Then people have been looking at me like, oh, you're not trustworthy. You're not like a good legitimate YouTuber. Because he, my thing is this, he made it seem like, that everybody else around him that doesn't agree with him doesn't have a brain, doesn't have a mind. Like, they can't think for themselves. He needs to think for them because he thinks he's this high almighty robot. He thinks he knows everything. He thinks he... No, he doesn't. I'm like, he obviously hasn't been put in situations where he's had to make... I feel like that's one of the things about him is that he's had every opportunity in his life hand given to him. He's never had to work a day in his life for nothing. Nothing. He's always, my thing is this, he always has a backup plan, which isn't bad, but I feel like his backup plan is him overall just, you know, falling back on somebody else and having somebody else, you know, pretty much um, take control of his problems. I feel like he is not putting one hard days of work Maybe with these videos that he's made about me. But other than that, I'm like, what else has he done? I'm saying because, you know, I know that he does his other videos and stuff. But it's like it's overall attacking people. I've had it where his fans have came out and have reached out to me saying that, oh, I stopped being a fan of him because, you know, he he attacked this YouTuber that I watch or he does this or he's doing this. And I'm like, that's one of the main reasons why I'm not cool with him. That's not who I am. If you go to my channel, my thing is this. Yeah, I go after people that I'm beefing with. I go after people that I that had beef with my friends. And I know uh um one of the people that I like, you know, did kind of like, well, I mean, you know, they don't know who I am unless they've seen my videos. But no, the one of the people that I had problems with is uh Trisha Paytas because she um tried to scam my friend out of five hundred dollars and then was trying to like take down her YouTube channel. And I'm like, and do you just hear the all of the different stuff that goes on with Trisha Paytas? I'm like, 
fam, like you, you kind of, you're bringing this on yourself versus like my friend. I'm like, she's a content creator. All she's doing is she, she's pretty much doing like what I'm doing is just overall, like, you know, well, it well on my news channel, but like any of my, yeah, she doesn't do reaction videos and all that other stuff, but she doesn't come off as somebody that's like rude to others, you know, that has problems with others and stuff. And that's not who I am. I'm not a person. I'm like, I want to have problems with people. And, you know, then the only people that I can align with on YouTube is ones that just go out their way and start trouble. I'm not that person. I'm not the person that goes out of my way and starts trouble. So that's why I was like, that's like one of the main reasons why I never signed with them. I'm like, Oh, well, if my name would have been buried in the ground by him and his fans. Oh, well, if they would have, um, I mean, and they did. My thing is this. They, yeah, they tried to bury my name in the ground. They overall um, tried to say every discouraging thing about me, head to toe, video from, like, first video to last video. I'm saying, you know, things was getting desperate with him when he had to go back to a video of me when I was in high school talking about how I beat Halo 4. Like, that was one of your videos about me, or that was one of the segments about me, was me overall talking on the fact, literally doing what so many other, like, young-minded kids was out there doing. Sorry I wasn't one of those weird kids that was in the school, like, sitting there, uh, like, not, so we're not making fun, but, it, like, he wasn't, you know he wasn't that type of kid that was in school making fun of people face-to-face -face with them, nah. He was definitely, like, writing it in a journal or had some other friends where they were just sitting around, like, talking about people and, you know, doing whatever and stuff, but I'm like, sorry, I wasn't that type of kid. I was the type of kid that was having fun. That night, I was having fun. When I seen that I had beat Halo 4, like, why Why is that? My thing is this. Why did that have anything to do with you? How did that, long before I even knew you, long before I'm this, like, you know, like, open content creator that I am today, what did that video overall have to do with you? So that's one of the main reasons why they want to be cool with him. Because I'm like, you're going out of your way and attacking a person because they made a video way back in high school talking about how they beat a video game, and I want to be cool with somebody, like, like, no, and that's the thing, I know that there's gonna probably be some of his fans that's sitting down listening to this, think about that, you're, like, and my thing is this, if this would have been today, right, oh, he would have, bro, he got walked all over, but, I mean, you know, he overall, he's doing it to somebody that, you know, they're of age and stuff, like, I'm 25 and stuff, so, um, yeah, he's like, he, if he would have, my thing is this, if he would have did that to a high schooler, especially being the YouTuber that he is, like a high schooler posted a video of himself um, beating a video game. Literally, in a gaming community, so many people would congratulate him like, congratulations, like, nah, that's dope, that's good. It's a hard game. Like, the fact that you did it, like, nah, kudos to you. There's people that say that they, what, there are probably people out there that's played Halo 4 and is giving up on the game. Like, my thing is, like, how is that an issue? How did that affect you? How did that have any problems with you? And the fact that his fans went out of their way to attack that video, and then it's a problem when I, you know, respond and when I say so. You guys was attacking a video of me when I was in high school. <laughs> like, you, I'm saying, like, who's, at the end of the day, you gotta sit down and think about it. Who's really desperate? Who is really desperate? Now that got to the point where it's like, you know, yeah, he can't really sit there and he, he's playing this whole act where it's like, oh, you know, I'm done with T-Moss Boss. But no, at the end of the day, he can't make no more videos on T-Moss Boss because what? It's just going to be. See, my thing is this. I, if I had to get um, just, a, um, just a robot a compliment, he is a smart content creator. His fans, on the other hand, not so smart because they will keep running with stuff and running with stuff and running with stuff until however long they can. And eventually it's going to get to a point in time. And that's why I say like with a lot of the people that has made videos about me, because they've the, uh, the majority of them has came from uh, his fan base. But a lot of those people are not here today. They don't make videos no more. I There's at times where I'll click on some of the uh, videos and I'm like, let me see if this person's posting. They're like, last video they posted was a video on me. And then there's like, then there's been at times where I went back and I'm like, wait a minute, there was this one video I remember that was getting some attention about me. Where's that video at? YouTuber deleted it or they overall deleted their channel. And that's one of the, and that's, see, that's the thing with just a robot. That's one thing where I'm like, I'm like, I'm, it's, you know, it's kind of messed up saying it, but I don't see him being on YouTube this uh, for a long period of time. Like, at the end of the day, I definitely see myself going far and beyond with YouTube and probably at some point in time in my life creating a platform of my own so, you know, young-minded um, creators can, you know, have a voice in the platform and stuff and do what they want to do. 
That's what I see the future in me is that I'm just still going to be helping out people like I am today. Him, on the other hand, is going to get to a point in time where he ends up quitting YouTube. He does. He can't do that forever. He can't hate on people forever. Like, do you think, because my thing is this, with the content that I've done and the content that he's done, at the end of the day, who do you think will be the spokesperson or the face of YouTube? Somebody that's promoting creators on so many different channels, on so many different platforms where I'm shouting out TikTokers, Twitch streamers, YouTubers, I'm shouting out uh, the freaking, you know, whoever, the people on Instagram. I'm saying, like, I'm shouting out all these different people. I'm helping out all these different people. Then with reaction videos, I'm promoting all these different channels and giving people, like, you know, like, pretty much like a window or a platform, you know, pretty much a platform within a platform so, you know, like, others can see their videos and stuff. And all he wants to do is bring hatred and negativity towards a person's channel. Knowing, knowing that if any of his fans, any of his fans or himself was dealing with that same, my thing is this, I know for a fact he will never make a video of somebody like greater than him. He's going to either attack people at the same like subscriber rate than him, or he's going to attack somebody smaller than him. That's all that he does. That's what he's been doing. I'm saying like what he'll go after it's either that or he's going to align himself with people that are attacking you know bigger YouTubers. So that's why I was like when uh Grade A Under A and um uh I hate everything when they were doing their videos on uh reaction videos. Yeah, he aligned himself with them, tried to make it seem like oh yeah I'm cool with them. He doesn't care about them. He probably don't even care about his fans. At the end of the because my thing is this. I know I've had my moments where I'm like, I need to take a break from YouTube, you know, I, I need to overall, but then I know, actually, you know, I know, and then there was a time where I was like, you know what, I need to um, quit YouTube because I was being fed the wrong stuff in my brain, but now I'm like, you know what, regardless of what I'm going through, I'm like, yeah, I'll take a break, but I'm not going to quit him on the other hand, I'm sorry, but I see at some point in time, there is going to be a day Probably when I'm streaming, probably when I'm posting a video, maybe on TikTok, YouTube, somewhere, somehow, I know that there's going to be a day where somebody reaches out to me and they tell me, hey, just a robot just posted a video saying saying that he's quitting. And you know what? I'm just going to look and just be like, hey, what did I tell you in that podcast episode? What have I been saying for I don't know how long? I don't even know how long I've been saying that where like the people that make hate videos on me at some point in time that they're going to quit, but... I told you so, so, but anyways, um, but yeah, like, it, it overall, um, I know the night when me and him, when we did get into it, I just remember him, like, throwing a fit, like, he, I knew he was, like, kind of, like, in a way yelling, because he was at one point in time typing in all caps, and was just, you know, mad at the fact that I, I didn't want to be cool with them, and I'm like, well, here's the thing, if you come to my channel, like, attacking me, um, and my thing is this, it wasn't even like like the night where I remember when me and him, when we got into it, and that's what it led into this like four year long beef. But the night when we got into it, it wasn't like he joined or he, we're not joined, but he commented on one of my videos like, hey, I understand that we beefed before in the past. And that's why I was overall talking like, you know, if Suge Knight would have been disrespecting Tupac, Tupac wouldn't have signed with them. That's how Just a Robot uh, commented on one of my videos. Started off by being disrespectful and then going to try to offer me this deal. Then going to try to offer me this. And then the, the most cringy thing about it was his fans saying, oh, you need to take this deal from Just a Robot. Otherwise, we're going to continue hating on your videos. It's that type of stuff. I'm like, if that's my only option, if that was my only option on YouTube, not, you know, OK, I'm just going to ignore this. Still continue doing the videos I'm doing and just, you know, move on. No, if that was my only option was to take this deal or work with Just a Robot or whatever it is. I would have quit YouTube. I, I 100% would have quit YouTube. But that's the thing. I'm like, I know that because I'm like, I'll just go on another platform. I'm like, I'm saying what? TikTok came out years later. I'm trying to think. Vine, no, Vine had stopped. Vine, I think, when did Vine stop? Was it, I think it was 2017. Because yeah, all that stuff went down in 2016. So I think it was 2017. So I, um, yeah, I would like probably would have just gotten into Twitch streaming probably a lot sooner or something. But I, um, yeah, I'm like, I'm not going to take a deal from somebody. I'm like, and you know, all they've just been doing is like attacking me and attacking others. Maybe if he wasn't that, um, attacking type person, he's just going out his way, just being disrespectful towards people. 
I probably, um, I probably, I probably would have been trying to be cool with him, but I'm like, you're attacking people for content. Like, bruh, like at the end of the day, like your content can get taken down. Mine's can, mine's can only get taken down when, yeah, YouTube's probably being shady and stuff. But I'm like, look at all the different types of videos I've posted, you know, like, but at the end of the day, yeah, people can like, oh, this dude's like, you know, it, it wouldn't, so, like, honestly, it wouldn't surprise me if that's probably one of the reasons uh, why he ends up leaving is because YouTube's probably taking down his videos. It's going to get to a point in time where if like, if not him, just overall saying it himself that you know that he's gonna quit and that he's done making videos is gonna get to a point in time where he does make a video and he's not gonna see it coming this dude is gonna get so carried away because that's the thing with him he has like this power trip in his brain where he thinks he's in control he thinks he's the one like you know controlling the train he thinks he's the one you know in charge and that's the thing. He doesn't realize that you're on another person's platform. You are YouTube is not yours. So at the end of the day, at any given point in time, OK, you continuing on these videos, hating on people or got beefs and problems with people that you don't even know. One thing is going to lead to another. And I'm telling you right now. He's either going to, yeah, it's going to probably uh, end up, well, not a copyright strike, because, yeah, that's, but a guideline strike where it's, like, harassment or bullying or whatever, and it's going to get to a point in time with his channel, um, well, he either can't upload or whatever, but I'm saying, if he, because I'm, like, I don't know, he doesn't post, like, every single day, so there probably has been times where he's gotten uh, strikes and stuff, and um, I don't know, I don't be paying attention to his channel, I don't be paying attention to what be going on on there and stuff, but... Um, yeah, it honestly wouldn't surprise me if he did at some point in time, did get a strike and then, you know, he overall just had to deal with it. So, uh, but anyways, and it's like, yeah, you can't hide behind that forever saying that, oh, it's commentary. It's, uh, it's, it's this or it's, you no, know, you're flat out like beefing with people or hating on people or, you know, trying to bully and harass people because you don't like their videos. I see my thing is this, I rather like, you know, also what like paying attention to what goes on like in the entertainment business, I pay attention to people and their behavior. I have went to school with people like him and guess what category they fall under? The bullies. Okay. Maybe some popular kids, definitely the weird kids. Okay. But y'all are bullies. I'm saying like, bro, it's, it's okay. Well, I mean, it's not okay to bully people, but like, it's okay to take acceptance in who you are. So I'm saying, like, you try to, like, flip that script on me saying that I'm a bully. And I'm like, fam, I don't even want to talk with you guys. I don't want to be bothered with you guys. Legit, if this was some, like, school stuff, right? It's me in my own little space in the school, minding my own business. He comes up out of nowhere, starts attacking me, starts going after me, starts, I defend myself. And he's like, oh, my God, like, why would you defend yourself? Why would you just, why, why would you do that? I'm just trying to, my thing is this, he can punch me in my face, right? I'll punch him back. This dude will legit be like crying like bloody murder. He's just like, why would you punch me in my face? Why would you, why would you do that? I'm just trying to test your strength. I'm just trying to see how strong you are and you punch me. What, what's wrong with you, bro? You're crazy. You're insane. So I'm like, all right. I'm just going to walk away. This dude's following me, okay? Still trying to harass me. Still trying. Now he's trying to collect a bunch of people and stuff and let them harass me and things. And my thing is this. If I'm being attacked, I'm going to attack back. I'm not just going to just let people walk all over me. He wouldn't allow people to um, walk all over him. Nobody does that. Nobody. Unless it's, you know, a weak-minded person. And I'm like, hey, to them weak-minded people in the world, it's like, you know, gain a little bit of backbone. Don't let people walk all over you. Sorry to call you weak-minded. I didn't mean that. But I'm I'm saying, like, you know, like, don't let people walk all over you. And that's somebody that I'm not. I'm not going to allow people to walk all over me because of whatever reasons. I don't care if you don't like my videos. I don't care if you don't like me. I don't care what you don't like or like. I'm still going to do what I want to do. Even though this is like, you know, YouTube is, you know, it's not my website, whatever. But I'm like, I'm allowed to do the videos I want to do. So I'm saying like, if not, then I'll go to a different platform and do my videos there. But I'm saying like, I, you know, all that other extra stuff. I'm like, nah, bro, you go somewhere else with that. But anyways, um, but yeah, 
Uh, I feel like, you know, I feel like I did kind of give a good explanation just for those that are, you know, I try to like explain it differently and stuff, you know, cause I feel like every time people they'll ask me about this and stuff and I'm like, you know what? Nah, let me just talk about it in the podcast and then just post it on social media and stuff and then just be like, Hey, so for those that are wondering, uh, yeah, um, this is why I've been getting hate and stuff on uh, YouTube and things, but Anyways, and that being said, I will talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for watching and or listening. If you're viewing this on YouTube, make sure you like and subscribe. And if you're viewing this on a podcast streaming service, make sure you follow or subscribe, however it's set up. Make sure you subscribe to one of my 38 YouTube channels. Follow me on Twitter, TikTok, Twitch, and Instagram at Boss. And make sure you follow my Facebook page at Boss fan page. Also, if you're purchasing any tickets from SeatGeek, make sure you use my promo code TMOSBOSS. It would knock $20 off your first purchase. And make sure you use my supporter creator code for epic games um t moss boss and in the meantime i will talk to you guys later thank you guys for watching and or listening and peace